Hello everyone, welcome to Maddie Study Center. Today's our subject Geography, Class 7, Lesson Number 1. How Seasons Occur, Part 1. We are going to see this lesson in detail, but I request if you are not subscribed to my channel, kindly subscribe it and don't forget to press bell button. So you will get notification whenever I upload my next lessons. And if you already subscribed, don't forget to like and share the video. So let's start the lesson. First, we recall the questions of this lesson. The question, how do day and night occur in the on the earth? So its questions arrive. So due to rotation or axial motion of the earth on its axis. So you will have the question what is exact axis. So you can see a line, right line. It shows north pole and south pole. It goes from the center of the earth that is called axis. And you can see a green line which shows rotation. Means it's rotate itself only. Let's see the detail. The moment of the earth spinning around itself on its axis called rotation. Means it's rotate on the axis itself that is called rotation. So let's see the next question. What term is used to describe the earth revolution around the sun? Earth spin around its axis just as a top spin around its spindle. This spinning moment is called earth rotation. At the same time the earth spin on its axis, it also orbit or revolution, uh, revolve around the sun. This moment is called revolution. Here you can see an image the earth orbit which is taking revolution around the sun and taking rotation so here you can see day and night also in this picture so let's see next question how long does the earth take to do so so the earth rotates once in about 24 hours with respect to the sun but once every 23 hours 56 minutes and 4 seconds with respect to others the distant stars earth rotates earth rotation is slow is slowing slightly with time thus a day was shorter in the past so here you can see actually 23.934 hours you can say to take complete one rotation to the sun. In which hemisphere is our country located? We can say this in which hemisphere is our country India is located. India totally lies north of equator so it is in northern hemisphere here when we have the map here we can see yellow color it shows our india which comes in northern hemisphere a circle that map the asia continent totally it comes in northern hemisphere the next question why don't the sun rays fall perpendicularly at all the place of the earth? The sun rays do not fall perpendicular on the on all areas of the earth because the earth is round. The sun rays placed far away so that light rays projected from the sun tended to reach the earth 
in almost parallel lines you can see the sun rays coming parallel line and this round because of that the sun rays are perpendicularly it's not coming all to all area here we have one small activity a took timing of mumbai a dick a date from 18 to 28 i have started writing sunrise and sunset even length and difference also why i selected i'll going to explain in detail but can you explain me from which day or which date you can say the duration is increased so we can see it's from 21 the duration has been changed 20 second 90 seconds and the difference is clearly here shown means it's increasing the length is increasing 1 second 1 second 0.2 0.3 so we are going to see this detail you must have noticed the changes in the duration of the day and night from 19 to 28 just now we have seen that last one it take 24 hours for the earth to rotate around itself the rotate from west to east the earth rotation has enabled to us to measure time in terms of a day during a single day we experience different stages like sunrise midday sunset as well as a daytime and nighttime here we, we are going to do one small experiment paste a large white paper on a one side of the table second place a torch in front of the table and way to the wooden move stand a rod or candle between the white paper and see you can see a light and this image direct light come uh, beam of the torch of this way and the shadow on rod or candle falls on the paper second one we have marked the position to shadow paper or moving when the light is moving the shadows also get increase or shorter become shorter also see observe and mark the position of the shadow and fall on the paper note the changes in the location of the shadow see with this help of the experiment also you can do at home it's a very easy experiment whenever you're taking a torch you just mark one time and anti clockwise you can move it that torch and you can identify the day time so let's do the next experiment after observation of marking position of shadow of the day the position of shadow change measure the distance between earlier change position during the period of activity observe the place sunrise and sunset horizontally see we have one experiment here i kept on stay uh, stick paper and light study the duration time and night time of the basis of observation from the table for the month of september what duration the shadow stick in the month of september on which day was the duration of the day and night was seen this is all things you can observe by doing at home only so students i hope you like this video if you like don't forget to share it and like it my video and if you have not subscribed i request you once again to subscribe my channel